In this presentation, we're going to be looking at Maya's Grease Pencil. Grease Pencil allows artists or directors to easily communicate their ideas by allowing you to draw directly in Maya's viewport. For this example, we're going to be using it to do a simple walk cycle, but you could just as easily use it as a basic markup tool. So the first thing that we're going to do to begin working with Grease Pencil is bring up the tool palette for it. We'll create a new pane to begin drawing on that's going to be at this uh, frame 16. And I'll just grab a brush that I want to use here, so we'll just grab this kind of soft brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to just animate a simple walk cycle of my character coming across the screen. So I'll just start sketching this out. One of the things that's kind of nice about the, uh, the timeline tick marks that happen when you lay down new cells is they can use the standard copy, cut, and paste commands that you're used to using in the time slider to shift around the timing of your animations after you've drawn them out. So it's a really uh, consistent workflow with the way you'd work inside of Maya. So we'll just kind of accelerate this animation a little bit and kind of finish this drawing off a little quicker. Move forward in time, and as soon as we uh, make another cell, you'll see that the ghosting kicks in. We can turn on and off the ghosting at any given time. So I just turned off ghosting to help draw this cell. At any given time, we can also enable um, more numbers of ghosts. So let's just go ahead and look at that. We'll just turn on three uh, on the front and three on the back. And you get a nice sense of that sort of animation happening and all that ghosting happening. So that's just a really quick example of how we can use Grease Pencil to quickly lay out a simple cell animation inside of our viewport to communicate our ideas efficiently.